Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about the least squares regression equation and uh, the residuals, the squared residuals, the best fit line in general. So where am I right now? Go to the website rossmanchance.com by two professors of statistics, Rossman and Chance, and click on this link, the applet collection. And there's all these wonderful statistics applets. The one we're going to use today is this one, least squares regression. Click on that. And that brings you to this page that we were just looking at a second ago. Um, this is a sample bit of, this, this is sample data here that's just preloaded, foot length and height, foot length versus height of 20, n equals 20 individuals. So uh, you could switch the explanatory and response variables by clicking on this button up here, okay? Okay, so what we've been learning is that when we have a scatter plot and it has a linear form, then we can summarize the form with a line. And if it has a strong linear form, then the line does a better job of summarizing. Um, so first, let's click on this button here, correlation coefficient, to see what the R value is, 0.711. So it's a pretty strong uh, uh, positive linear association between foot length and height in this sample data. Um, so let's click on this button here, show movable line. So it's going to give us this line, which clearly does not summarize the data. So let's move it around. And actually, why don't you pause uh, the video and uh, move it around like I am here so you can turn it. You can move it up and down. Okay, move it to where you think it should go. Okay, okay so uh, I'm going to move mine, let's say, like that. Okay, so this is where I think uh, it should go. So down here is the equation for it height this little carrot here um, indicates as a prediction so the predicted height is equal to 27.90 plus 1.43 times the foot length okay as you move it around maybe also pay attention to what is going on in the equation down here so as you move it around up and down or as you turn it around okay we'll come back to these values in a future handout soon um, so let's say this is where I think the, the best fit line is. Now, the point of the best fit line, the main purpose really is to make predictions, right? So to make predictions about, say, a person with foot length 32 inches about what their predicted height would be. So according to what it looks like here, around 72 inches. Um, and the equation is what we would use to actually make the prediction. Plug in a foot length value here, multiply and add to get the predicted height. Okay, so... And if we want to make predictions, we want good predictions, and good predictions should have small errors. Errors are what we also call residuals. So if you click here, it shows the residuals or the errors, right? The positive residuals up here, the negative residuals down here. And notice if you move the line again, some residuals get bigger, some get smaller, right? But the idea is we want the sum, all of the residuals somehow to be measured up and um, minimized. Well, so how do we measure them up? So that is where we used the squared residuals. So if you take each of these residual values and square the values, then you get um, effectively a number that gives the size, the area of a square with one of these as its side length, because that's how the area of the square is calculated. So when you click on this button, It'll show you squares whose side lengths are the residual values. And again, if you move the line, you'll notice the sizes of the squares changing, some getting smaller, some getting bigger. And so how we measure the total error in the regression equation is by taking all these squares and adding them all up. So that is what the sum of squared errors is. So and luckily, this applet actually gives it to us. So down here, SSE, sum of squared errors. So all of these squared errors, right, all of these areas of these squares added up gives us this number. And what we are talking about now is the least square regression equation, right? So the best fit line, remember, I'm, I'm just moving this line around and you're doing the same, right? So this isn't exact necessarily the best fit line. Um, how do we define the best fit line? The best fit line, it turns out, is the one that should have the smallest error, so the smallest sum of squared errors. So now, pause the video, and well, actually, don't pause it yet. Um, 
what I want you to do is, again, move the line around and try to get this number as small as you can, okay? So try to get this number as small as you can. And if you get to the smallest number possible, then you have found the regression line, okay? So go ahead and pause the video and do that. Okay, so mine is at 257. Okay, so you probably got it smaller than that. I think it's supposed to be less than that. So how do we find the real regression equation? Well, the applet has it right here. So I'm going to click on show regression line. And notice I was off, definitely. I, uh, I, you know, my two lines agree right here. But other than that, the kind of the angle at which my direction was going was, was off a little bit. So here's the actual equation of the regression equation. 38.30 plus 1.03 times the foot length. Um, if, I could show the residuals here, show the squared residuals, and you could kind of see them overlaid with each other. Okay, well, that's a little confusing at this point. So I'm going to unclick this now. So remember, I got 257. That's the best I got. And the actual sum of squared residuals, 235. So maybe you, I bet you got a lot closer to that than I did. And if you got exactly 235, congratulations. Very, very good. Good job. Well done. Okay, so I hope this helps to understand the sum of square residuals and uh, the regression equation. Thank you.